going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are still out on this Palm Desert trip out at the Classic Club today. It's right off the 10 freeway and uh, this course is notoriously pretty tough. Playing about 7,300 yards, right? Yeah, 7,300 yards. Slope is like a, a 141 and then the rating is like a 76. <laughs> so, you know, you shoot 76 out here, it's like shooting par. It's a very tough course. It's Troom built and uh, it's great facilities and the course looks like it's in, in immaculate shape. Yeah, and the wind's just starting to pick up a little bit. Uh, by the afternoon, we'll probably have about a 20 mile, mile an hour wind. And uh, yeah, some of these holes are gonna be pretty long today, but should be another fun day in the neighborhood and uh, looking forward to it. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications, uh, throw us a like on this video if you're enjoying it and leave a comment down below. And uh, let's introduce you guys to who we're playing with. All right, here are the three amigos. You guys saw these in the <laughs> these, these dudes in the last video. We're still at it. What's going on, guys? What's going on, everyone? How much? That'd be awesome. This place looks it's a beautiful epic. day. Mark's, uh, he only knows two shades, white and black, baby. That's right. And yeah, guess my... who else just drove out? <laughs> He's Key. Hey! hey. <laughs> From the parking lot. Hey. <laughs> From the parking lot, straight to the first tee. Get the memo on where to go. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right, so who's gonna be uh, who's gonna be in the first pairing, first group, front nine? Tyler and B. Tyler and B, and then we're gonna do a little switch up and throw uh, someone else in the Send mix. Send in the cavalry. I'll come get them. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Hey, I heard Mark. Uh, I drove you off of his knees yesterday. Is that a true story? Big yeah. Cat? Yeah. We'll give it to him. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Confirmation. It was questionable. Okay. All right. So first hole here, 408 yards. There's a uh, there's a good amount of water on this hole on this course, so you guys will definitely see quite a bit of it. Um, you can see just kind of going to the left, and uh, the wind is kind of coming off our right and pushing that way too. So the target line is really going to be at those bunkers, and then kind of either playing a draw or a fade off of there, and just making sure you avoid that big massive hazard known as the water. <laughs> Check out the snow on the top of the mountains. It's uh, nice and cold up there and uh, nice and warm down here. Pulled that driver, I, I was a little bit nervous about going to that water with my fade, so ended up on the right side here. Still got about 160 left. Uh, it's all downwind. I'm just gonna hit a nice smooth eight iron right side of the green and uh, let it peel on back. Start of that right of the pin. It's fading just a little bit. Needs a little more. Okay, came up a little short, but uh, he's got an easy chip. All right, hit that drive right down the middle again, starting off uh, the day right. I got 118 left, just gonna hit a little approach wedge and uh, middle of the green. Hit that exactly where he said, headed uh, for the middle of the green. Nice little draw. I think it'll be on the dance floor. Nice shot. Little pull. Little pull. Middle of the green. All right, Marco is right in the front. He's probably gonna putt that, yep, he sure is. Uh, the pin is tucked right there. Uh, me and B are right next to each other. And then Tyler hit a good one right here, just past the pin, probably about 25 feet. Okay, he's got about eight, nine feet left. Oh, great putt. Good par. All right, good start. Nice putt. Good par. Nice par. Grinding out here. I love the classic course, though. I mean, you know, this is a true test of golf. Um, we're lucky that there's no wind right now. I'm going to keep my fingers crossed on that one because if the wind kicks up out here, it's uh, it's really tough sledding. 
Deal. All right, we're on hole number two. It's a par three. It's 180 yards. It's all into the wind. Wind is starting to pick up. It's about 15 to 20 right now. So it's probably gonna be playing one club more. Uh, those bunkers look extra nasty today. So I think the, the goal is to stay out of those. Oh, I hit this one excellent. Just a little bit right of the pin. Leave it alone, wind. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Good bounce, it's all over it. <laughs> Good bounce and uh, should be close. Ooh, Some Tyler hit this feet. one on a rope right towards the pin. Go oh. in the hole. Oh, oh <laughs> great <laughs> shot. That might be in. Somebody Hot came in play. Hot now. Mm, Bisky hit this thing a mile in the air, headed right at it. Oh, that's going in. Third swing of the day, hole in one. Mm. Oh. That's going to be another tidy, tidy, tidy. Mm. Coach started this at the flag, a little swooper. It's headed for the left side of the green. And I think okay. it's going to get a nice bounce. Okay. Should be on the dance floor. We'll see. All right, so uh, Coach ended up right down here by that little uh, drainage wash, that little drainage ditch. And he's got a pretty straightforward uh, putt or chip, whatever he likes to do. It's going to be kind of feeding away from him a bit. And uh, the three of us kind of ended up just down here below the pin. Not too shabby. I think that's me on the fringe. And then uh, T-Bone and Beastie both hitting really good shots in here. I'm a run at birdie. So. Yeah, just kind of ran that by a little bit. Gonna have himself about a 12 footer coming back. Bisky just threw that pin out and said, Sorry, DeChambeau, I do not agree. Another beautiful hole out at the Classic Club uh, in Palm Desert. Uh, it's a par four, it's a slight dog leg to the right. It's 445 yards and it's all kind of a side wind. You definitely uh, don't want to flirt with that water on the right and uh, the bunker on the left does come into play if you do pull it a little too much. Uh, so something down the middle here. So uh, Tyler's got 193 left. Uh, he's gonna try to hit the center of the green here and uh, make a putt, try to save par. Caught a little skinny. It's heading at the bunker up on the left. Get over it. Get over it. Uh, hit the upper lip. Oh, drop back down in. All right. All right, B, what do you got? 167, kind of in between clubs. Um, Pins deep, so I don't want to go long. So I'm going to take my lower club. I'm going to hit a seven iron and see if I can get it back there. Oh, I double crossed it. This one's left. Needs to sit. Mm. All right, found the fairway there. Uh, also, if you guys are new to the channel or if you're interested in picking up some of our merch, check out golfholics.com. Link's going to be down below. All the money that we make on this channel kind of just goes right back into it. Helps us pay for golf, for the trips out here, for Daniel to edit these videos. We appreciate you guys' support. Uh, 181 here. I'm gonna hit a uh, nice smooth six iron up there and just go right at it. Uncle started it just right of the pin. It is fading over towards it, looking pretty good. If it's enough, yeah, landed on the top tier. Wow, golf shot right there. Well done. All right, hit that through uh, the fairway right into the bunker. I got 155, a little bit uphill into the wind. I'm just gonna hit a knockdown seven. I just got a little quick on that and just topped it out of there. But you know what? You rolled up to the front and you'll have a nice straightforward chip from there. So Tyler ended up in the bunker right here. He's probably got about a three or four foot lip to deal with. And then from there, um, he's got a ridge that he needs to make sure he gets it up. So not the easiest of shots here. Oh, he hit a good one out of there. 
really nicely done. Left himself about a five or six footer. Awesome shot. Beeski went back in the desert. I think he just jumped on whatever he was sitting out of there. And uh, yeah, he's gonna have a little tree to go over right here. Should be able to get it up and over that, but this is a pretty delicate little shot here. Oh, he made good contact. Look at this. Oh, what a shot. Look at this. Shot of the day already on hole three. Well done, B. Oh. oh man, that broke hard. Good for. Oh, what an up and down. Boom. Nice work, good four. Thank you. Like that from over there? Yeah, that was pretty good. I was wondering on my club selection. <laughs> I got better lucky than good sometimes. Yeah. All right, this is just a gorgeous hole right here. 568 yard par five. As you guys can see, we got water right in front of us. You got to carry and then uh, probably just to make it over the water and onto the fairways, I would guess at least about 230, 240. <laughs> So this is gonna be just a serious hole. We got wind just coming off the left side and then the hole is gonna be turning over to the left. Um, you guys can see all the bunkers up there just kind of lining the fairway on both sides. So really, uh, this is a tough hole, but you know, starts with a good shot and I think we're all probably gonna be laying up on this one. This is where golf balls come to die. There's a bunch of chopped up ones there. All right, hit that drive very poor. Um, left of the, everything. <laughs> I got to chip out probably with a six or seven iron and get it back in play. Oh, he hit that great. I, I think if he would have had his steel shafts right here, he would have nipped the top of that hill. But that thing came out nice and high. Get him right back in position for a birdie. <laughs> And why don't you tell people about those sunglasses you're rocking? Yeah, we got some new Spy sunglasses in the store. Go check them out. Uh, they're some of the best on the market and uh, they're really helping our eyes out. Man, this is one beast of a par five. Uh, Marco and T-Bone just barely made the fairway. <laughs> I, I, that was probably, that was easily the best driver of the day so far. And uh, I thought I ripped it, but I barely made it up here. Got 290 left still. I'm gonna just hit a hybrid and hopefully leave myself with like a little flippy uh, 60 degree. Uh, he uh, pulled it a little bit to the right. It's drawn over, but it should be okay. In good position. All right, guys. Hit a pretty decent drive there. Still got like 290, and it's all under the wind. I'm gonna try and hit something about 200 yards and lay up in those bunkers. Yeah, it's a smart play. You can see up the left side, it's just littered with bunkers. So he's gonna keep it over to the right. Okay, thin to win. Yep. Right up the middle. Should give yourself a nice wedge going in. Nice. So uh, I'm gonna follow Tyler's lead there. It's just way too long to get home. Uh, just gonna knock a little five out in the middle of the fairway. Looks really good. I'll do it. <laughs> All right, hit a pretty good seven iron out of that uh, muck. Uh, I've got 147 left. I'm just gonna hit it a little knockdown eight iron and uh, play a nice little high draw, hopefully. Started that left to the flag stick with a tiny little bit of a draw. I can't really tell where that ended up, but should be up there around the green somewhere. All right, pull that uh, hybrid over here on the right. Got 122 yards left out of this nice luscious rough. Uh, into the wind, I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge and just go a little bit right of it, um, cause it's probably gonna wanna fade off of this side hill. <laughs> Marco started this just right of the pin, but it is fading over to perfection. Man, it looks good. Oh, it's right next to the pin. Probably about six, seven feet. Great shot. So we got 106 left after that uh, layup and uh, just gonna hit a little smooth wedge on. Is that short? I think it was short. Holy moly. 
There is a lot of wind up there. Yeah, <laughs> sneaky wind. I told you. All right, Tyler's got about the same distance as me. Um, obviously, I was the guinea pig on that. We feel there's a little more wind up there, so he's gonna keep his shot just a uh, pinch lower than mine. All right, caught a little skinny. It's heading up the right side. It's gotta get down, come off the back. It did, it spun off the back hill, and he's coming back to the front of the green. Should have about a 35 footer. All right, so I just went over the flag stick, uh, the, kind of the back of the green here, probably about a 30 footer. Mike's over there on the left fringe, uh, about the same distance. And then uh, T-Bone just hit one into the backstop, spun it back. It's gonna have about a 40 footer, and I think B was short and in the bunker. All right, so B's in a little bit of a footprint, he said. Uh, yeah. Just took it right over the flag stick, and yeah, and ended up long. Okay, about a five, six footer left there. This hole's 419 yards. Uh, really cool design here because you got a big open fairway, so they're you know kind of letting you know that you should probably hang back. And then if you want to get uh, get a little adventurous, you can try to thread it right through the right through that middle valley area. Obviously, there's bunkers on both sides, so risk reward here. But uh, pretty look at this beautiful golf course. This is the par five that we just played. That was a monster. And look at this bunker right there. That thing is massive. And then there's one right here. This course is very tough. Hit a pretty bad drive over here on the left, just happened to be in some nice grass. Got 167 left, but we're straight into the wind of this hole, and like Mike just said, huge bunker right in front that I do not want to be in. So I'm gonna hit a six iron, which I usually hit about 185, and uh, just make sure that I just get it somewhere on the green. And Marco also has an uphill lie, so it is gonna launch the ball a little bit higher and take a little distance off of it. Oh, he hit this one right at the pin. Looks really good. It's actually drawn over just a tiny bit. Okay, came up just a little bit short. Good shot though. All right, guys, this is not ideal. Going through the jungle here, baby. This is how you have to get in here. All right, let's do this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna give this a go. Um, probably should take a drop, but uh, why not? Let's see if I can... Uh, Get it out over these bushes. Oh. Oh my god, I got it out. It's right at the green. Get down. <laughs> wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it. What a shot. All right, I'm three over through four. Pop the collar, try and get my score a little bit better. Uh, I've got 140 all into the wind. You guys saw Marco come up a little bit short of the green. I'm going to muscle up and hit a hard eight iron. Oh, he hit that really nice. It's going right at the flag stick. Yep, just got it a little bit past it, which is the smart move on the green. Well done, coach. Thanks. All right, golf holics. T-Bone and I are giving you guys the full scenery of this golf course. We decided not to play that hole and play the other holes. Boys are overrated. <laughs> That's it. He's got 141. We lined him up over the trees. Just gonna hit a nice wedge. Nice little draw, it's coming over. There's a Tyler's ball, just landed on the green from wherever he was coming from. I think he was in a pretty tough spot. Uh, Mike's over there on the green on the right, and then just kind of straight ahead is Beeski, who I think was coming out of the desert. And then, uh, and then I ended up just a tiny bit short over there to the left of the pin.
the par of a, of a lifetime. From the desert. Nice so, par, so dude. Lucky. I mean, I could have easily made double or triple from back there. <laughs> um, I mean, I just got lucky. I was just really trying to punch it out to the front here and nipped it and didn't hit a branch. Just one of the golf gods were giving me a break. <laughs> All right, this is just a monster part three right here. It's playing about 220 yards, but into the wind. Um, it's probably playing closer to 240. And uh, as you guys can see, it's pretty much all carry. So you put anything short, you're gonna be in that bunker, probably about 10, 15 feet down below the level of the surface of the putting green. So the play here is obviously to, uh, to just go a little bit long, use that backstop if we can, or if anything, just be, be chipping from over there. Monster hole, par is gonna be a good score here. All right, so my goal is to probably just break 80 today. Um, five over through, or four over through five. And uh, just gonna try and break 80. A little 79 today would be good. All right, you wanna lead us off? Who's feeling frisky here? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go, B-ski. Yeah, let's go, B. He's let's going with the uh, hybrid. Lead the way. Up oh man, he just nuked that. Just ended, headed for the left side of the green. I don't know. I can't okay. tell. It's too far yeah, away. Started at the green, but drawn over to the left. Headed for that tree on the hill. And yeah, it's over. He's going to be chipping. It's going to be a tough chip, though. Uh-oh. He is right at the pin, and that is exactly where you don't want to be. That's going to be a tough up and down over there on the right side. You got goaded in Palm Springs. You got goaded at the classic <laughs> Marco started this right at the pin. Hit it really good. Get up there. Yeah, and he's on. Ooh, it might have rolled through, but he landed on the green. Good shot. Golf shot. All right, so we got Coach down here, and I think uh, Bisky's down there with him. And just look at this pin location. I mean, this is just ridiculous. It's right on a ridge. It feeds away in front of it, behind it. I mean, you really can't miss anywhere around this pin and uh, it's gonna be just incredibly tough to get up and down. I hit the green and uh, stayed on the green somehow. Uh, it's just on the back edge over there. Hit a little blistering three wood. And then I think T-Bone uh, is down in that massive valley. He's gonna be down there about, I don't know, probably about 30, 40 feet down below us. Let's see if we can get some eyes on his ball. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a super tough shot. Good luck, buddy. Oh, look at Coach's touch there. That is an A plus. Yep. And look at that. No idea how hard that is. Look at All right. Seabone so actually hit a pretty good shot from down there. He's gonna give himself a chance at a bar ski. Nicely done. Sit, sit, sit. All right, not bad. Kept it a little left of it. Oh, what a putt. That is a world-class par. This one's <laughs> nasty. Both those ball marks are right there next to the pin. The yeah. Function area goes down 20 yards down there. Brings in bogey, just nasty, almost impossible up and down. Pins on the crown. I mean, you gotta have all the shots out here. All right guys, we're gonna end part one right there. Uh, first six holes are pretty, some tough ones out there, yeah. right? Really tough course. I think I'm five over right now. It's beating me up, making some uh, mistakes. They got some really tough pin placements out there. And uh, if you don't hit it in the right spot, uh, it's definitely a one shot penalty. If you guys are ever in the desert, make sure you check out Classic Club. It's a, it's a public course and uh, in really good shape as you guys can see from the video. Um, I don't know what it costs to play out here. I think it's usually around a hundred bucks. Right? Yeah, roughly. Yeah, roughly a hundred bucks um, and really good condition. And it's like I said, right off the freeway, so it's easy to get to. Um, hit a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below if you're enjoying these videos and hit that subscribe button. We'll see you back for part two. All right guys, later. <laughs>